Hello, and a very good morning to everyone. Thanks a lot for joining us today for this webinar on Agile Way of Building Connected Business. I'm Veena Gowda, and I'll be your host for this webinar. Let me quickly introduce you to our speakers. Firstly, we have Harry. We, he heads the Global Enterprise Integration Practice at Aspire Systems with over two decades of experience in the integration field. And we also have Andrew Soda. He is the Global Solution Architect at Dell Boomi, specializing in integration architecture, Boomi atmosphere, cloud integration, API management, and transformation solutions. I welcome both of you on board. Hi, everyone. Good morning. This is Harry. Hi there. Before we begin, there are some house rules on the usage of the Bright Talk portal. We request everyone to put their phones on mute to avoid background noise. If anyone has a question, please write it down in the question section and they will be answered at the end of the webinar. With no further delay, I would request Harry to start the webinar. Thank you, Veena. Thanks for, uh, for the introduction. Hi, everyone. Good morning, good afternoon, good evening. Um, <clears throat> so, the, um, so, so the agenda for uh, today's webinar is about connected uh, business model. And how do we build a connected business? The classical example uh, is um, Amazon and Uber. <clears throat> if you take Uber, the well-known um, you know, success story of Uber, connected from the drivers who drives or who contributes on the Uber market to the consumers and the internal operations are all well connected with the systems and processes. From onboarding a new driver into the Uber, Uber process, till the pro driver availability and the location where they are available and allocation of those drivers into the consumer's request. Looking at the market demands, identifying the demands in the specific uh, geographical area or particular area and balancing the pricing all of them happens in the connected way all of them happens in real time all of them happens instantly within few seconds to react to the market demands to react to the consumer demands to react to the availability of the drivers and all of them happens in the very well connected model so now in this presentation, we are going to talk about how to build such a connected business model. And before going to that, to that we should know what is mean by the connected business. And who drives the connected business? Because the, it's a demand from the, uh, from the market side, it's demand from the internal organization side, or is it a need, it's a, it's a vision of the organization? Who drives the connected business model and why it is important for that, for the business? and what technology that helps to build the connected business model. What key technology or uh, architecture that uh, drives to build the connected business model. We have Andrew who will be talking about how Boomi platform, as a platform with various product and features, helps to build the connected business model. The role that Boomi plays is an important role on the connected business operations and building that capabilities. At last, I will be talking about how to rapidly build that, how to achieve that rapidly with the help of yep, or a better architecture, better architecture solution and place. So we'll be covering up all those uh, you know, uh, areas today as part of the um, session now. <coughs> Let's take an example of a connected business model. As I described, Uber is a classical example of connected business model from end to end. When you say end to end, from the consumer interaction with the app till the actions happens behind the scene of you know allocating driver, allocating demands, identifying the drivers, and you know the tracking the drivers uh, pick up, drop, and the pricing and the market demand, all of them happens with very well connected. Not only that, onboarding a connect drivers also connected along with the process. The whole business is fully automated with the help of the connected business operational model. Now, why it is very important 
to build such connected business operations. Because today it's a digital world. Everyone is using uh, digital devices. There are a lot of connected devices available in the market. It is not just about the mobile application that has been enhancing the consumer uh, you know, behavior, but also other interactive systems or devices that the consumer is interacting with all are driving the need of connected business. Because the systems and information is available for the consumers to consume those data as quickly possibly and take a decisions, the information has to be tracked identified and proactively supported to the consumers properly. The collaboration between the enterprise and the consumer has to be very well tightly connected to drive the enterprises to sell or retain the consumers on the consumer sectors. Now, it has to happen in the, in the all organization. It is not just about driving some technology solution for the consumers to interact with the organization, but but internally to the organization also, there should be a way of automating the whole uh, process and business acti activities and operations seamlessly to build an end-to-end -end connected business model. As consumers are you know, using more and more devices and you know, digital you know, you know, technologies to interact with them, and the competitors are advancing themselves to adapt those kind of technologies, it is necessary for every enterprise to look at the end-to-end -end connected model. Establishing end-to-end -end connected model is a key for the success today and survival today because it's, it's playing a major role from the consumer driving aspect of it. According to Forrester report, um, the trends in technologies are shifting towards custom consumer behavior or customer behavior to raise the connected business model. Organization has to you know, seamlessly build a collaborative operations, internal operational and the external consumer um, you know, interactions to seamlessly drive the market and demands of the consumers. But what contribute to that? What contribute to that, uh, you know, this kind of a connected business model demands? Um, the primary player for this is the Internet of Things. The IoT plays a major role in driving this, uh, you know, the, driving the connected business model. Because the technologies are, are so advanced today, so anything can be connected with the uh, Internet. Anything can be used by the consumer to control or connect to the internet and look at the information. So there is a need of the enterprises not just providing an internet-based solution to the consumer, but also providing a solution or reachability to the devices that the consumer is using to connect to the internet. So there is a massive push from the internet of things to drive the connected business model. Internet of Things is not just from the consumer aspect, it is also for the internal organization aspect. A yeah, shipment can be tracked very well within the organization. A yeah, packaging can be tracked very well within the organization from the processing in manufacturing and processing to till the delivery can be completely tracked out with the help of devices. So those process capturing information or the events that happen in the process that can be captured and analyzed to improve the business operations. So IOTs are not just driving the consumer needs but also drives the internal operational efficiency. The second portion of that, the digital uh, consumers. The digital consumers are so advanced enough to, uh, you know, to interact with the, or explore the information available over the net. So now it's important to spread the information for every enterprises to provide the information that consumer is looking for and try to attract the consumers. Not only attracting the new consumers, but also retaining the existing consumers is highly challenging because the consumers may access the information from mobile phone or typical laptop or maybe using the wearables. So any information that we, we deliver to consumers or we Capture from the consumer's behavior is important to drive the business. The last portion is the internal partner collaborations. It is not just about you know, Internet of Things is driving um, you know, the connected business model, uh, not just about the digital consumers 
uh, or uh, you know in a, in a demand of you know providing information and more efficient delivery model uh, from the enterprises but also the internal team the internal operations team internal you know logical team delivery team has to be very very connected together uh, to deliver the business uh, or deliver the consumer be in you know, expectations properly so now like uber like amazon you know things happens in the very fast way so business has to be scaled up to build a connected model of internal systems as well as the consumer interacting systems to build a col tightly collaboration and capture those informations to drive the future of the organization the second uh, portion of that is the you know as we have seen that you know the iot plays a major role uh, on the on the on the uh, driving the connected business model but when we categorize that iot where iot being applied into the business or into the sectors of industry and where it is applied and how it has been you know the the demand has been if you look at the uh, uh, gartner's report it's clearly dictating that um in the future the more consumers are going to you know uh, demand the need of connected business connected things but not just that the cross industry the cross industry communications can also be happens through the connected devices the truck delivery truck tracking truck delivery model how they when the truck loaded when the truck you know captured uh, you know uh, in in the transit when the truck reaches a particular delivery center and how it is being delivered and the delivery information has to come all those events has to come back to the organization to inform to the consumers that's how amazon does that so they track everything even though they apply with third parties third party partners to deliver this uh, the 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 deliver the items to the consumers till they track all those information by tightly collaborating with the partners to drive that so cross industry collaboration is very important and connected connected things are playing a major role to track down the information the last one is the vertical very specific to the consumer vertical where the consumers are interacting either it's a uh, insurance sectors or it's a uh, uh, you know it's a uh, hospitality industry or it's even uh, you know uh, retail um you know the shipment uh, in uh, you know industry or uh, regardless of all the industries that interacting with the consumers demanding a high uh, you know um, connected model to drive the value to the to the to the consumers to drive uh, you know better value to the internal uh, internal uh, you know operations team also internal users as well but the challenge or but the uh, but the way you know how we can achieve that you know technology plays a role right so to connect it because the uh, the consumer collaborations happens in many different devices many different new devices are coming up every day there is a new device or new model is coming out of the world, out of the market so consumers are very excited to go and procure those devices and use those devices and experience that now capturing the consumer behavior is not just a system that organization is running to it i'm running a retail comp corporations i'm running a retail company i i'm using a mobile app i'm providing mobile app web solutions to my consumers can i track the behavior just to my mobile device and web device that's not enough because consumers may be interacting in or consumer behavior may be happening in across other devices where there is no control for the enterprises due to the uncontrolled growth of the devices happens in the market the capturing the consumer behavior is challenging one if you are not capturing the consumer behavior properly and understand the the consumers activities or events triggered by the consumers then it is very difficult for the enterprises to identify what consumer wants and how to deliver that so capturing the information wherever the consumer is interacting is very highly important because of the challenge in the growth of the technology the consumer collaboration channels are highly uncontrolled highly uncontrolled we cannot have a control on all the devices that consumer is using that but in stop that we capture the informations to many means to drive that so the technology that available today to capture those informations 
um, either uh, API services or yeah, uh, you know, MQTT based um, you know, uh, messaging model for the IoT specific needs. Now, looking at the uh, capturing the data is one portion of that. Looking at and capturing the consumer behavioral data is one portion of that. Now, what we do with the data is the second portion of that. Now, we brought the data from the consumer interactions, collaborations, either through our own controlled devices like an e-commerce site or mobile device that we provide to the consumers or the uncontrolled environment from where the consumer is interacting with the different devices, utilizing different devices to access the information. Capturing all those data and pushing that into the back end back office systems to identify the metrics or identify and react to those events. Your order may be placed from the uh, from the mobile app, may be placed from a wearable, or may be placed from Alexa, Amazon Alexa. So how do we capture that? How do we capture that and what do we do with the data? So that should be a process that built within the organization to, build, uh, to collaborate with or to identify the data and react to the data. The process required within the organizations are application integrations and related data enforcement. Now building a collected uh, you know, application integration and building a collaborative application systems uh, to, to understand these data and drive the business or drive the subsequent business event accordingly is highly playing. So the application integration continue to play a major role on the modern world. The application integration plays a major role to collaborate either your legacy system or modern systems to make that available for the business events and react to the business events faster. Now the last portion is, it is not just a within organization where we provide, we capture the data that from the consumer, we react to the data to the consumers, but also we work in the global world, we work with many partners. We work with banking, we work with suppliers, we work with shipping companies to deliver the information or deliver the, you know, uh, you know uh, the orders to the customers. Either it's an insurance plan to be delivered or it's a goods that to be delivered to the consumer. We have to interact with the various you know, partners to collaborate and identify and deliver it. So now partner collaboration playing a major role to seamlessly building the connected connected device, connected uh, business model. So the collaboration of uh, the, the collaboration is important from the consumer till the partner and how do we capture all those events happening in the business and how do we react to those events is playing a major role on satisfying the customer uh, you know demands and also, you know, helps to sustain the consumers. Now, EDA and API management is playing a major role in collaborating with the partners. So now we have the technology that helps to capture the data from the devices that consumer is using. We have the technology of application integration to collab build a collaboration within application uh, systems within the organization to build a collaborative automated organization model. And not only that, extending that with the partner and helping to build the collaboration with the partner also. Therefore, we know when the plan, when the order is placed, we know when we can ship the order. We know when we can deliver the particular message to the consumer. We know how we can, you know, uh, you know, uh, uh, capture the financial information from banking to take additions. So all this information has to be captured and reacted to that. And that is what is important for building a connected business model to survive on the modern world. To achieve that, there are a lot of challenges, right? So number one challenge is the technology challenge, the, the, sorry, the, um, the business automation challenge. Now, as the organizations you know, running traditionally from uh, you know silos of operational model to the you know process oriented operational model. Now, connected operational model is important. It is not just a past process oriented organization, but also the connected organizations. Every event happened within the organizations has to be connected, tracked, and reacted to that. Now, the complete business automation is important to achieve that. End-to-end -end of business automation is critical to build a, uh, to de deliver the value to the consumers. Having a proper business automation strategy is important to kick off this kind of a connected business model. Building a connected business model is not something like we can take it up as a project and drive that project. We have to build as a process and program 
to deliver to identify the connected business model automating the processes within the organization automating the data that feed for that and defining that events happens to that right the, the second challenge part is the technology expertise due to lack of technology internal technology expertise it is difficult for the organizations to think through that connected business model now we need a technology uh, you know expertise to identify how to create a business automation strategy how to put together the architectural model how to drive various projects to build this connected business model it's a transformation initiative so require a technology expert to drive this transformation initiative that's another challenge the third challenge is a uh, technology landscape having a legacy application versus the cloud application or the hybrid of all of them is a challenging one on connecting to the building the connected business model how do we build a connected business when we have a legacy application which is not capable of you know communicating with those events or and understanding those events and triggering the process properly now legacy applications or the cloud applications or any disparate systems that all uh, that all of them adding a uh, you know complex into the port on how do we create a connected business model with a fully automated workflows the last one is the process there may be a process challenge in uh, you know in comparing with other organizational model there may be internal process challenge how do we streamline the process challenges how do we streamline the operational challenges how do we you know solve those problems and drive that with the help of the architectural uh, strategy that we put together all of them are playing a major role to define and drive the successful completion of the connected business model now we are here to talk about how do we address all these challenges from the architectural strategy or the automation strategy to the technology and the platform that required to drive this and how are we achieving this in a faster rapid way it should not take a years to complete the project because it will not you know we will be losing the consumers if we are delaying this project right so we have to have a rapid way of delivering this uh, you know connected business model and connected business operations and driving the consumer you know um, behaving for the consumer uh, you know events uh, faster is very important that's where you know we have uh, uh, bumi uh, del bumi and andrew here to talk about how del bumi provides your technology solution or the product and features capabilities to address the connected business model over to you andrew thanks harry so just to to speak to this on a high level um dell boomi um offers a solution an integration platform uh, as a service if you will to handle and tackle a lot of these um integrations and interconnected business requirements um that harry was mentioning earlier um some of the things or ways that you would go about integrating a system in the past would involve um having a, a fairly sizable integration team uh, that would do a series of manual coding endeavors or point to point integrations across uh, your IT landscape or perhaps um you have uh, maybe legacy middleware um very uh, heavy duty Uh, on-premise applications that require, you know, numerous servers and and multiple stacks uh, of disparate products, um, which is going to end up taking, you know, months and years and hundreds of thousands of dollars uh, to implement uh, a solution that um, Harry was was alluding to. Um, the benefit of the Dell Boomi platform, however, is that um, we have a single um, cloud-native platform um, that allows you to build. Uh, an integration uh, architecture design uh, throughout your IT landscape um whether that be some all cloud based best of breed applications um whether those be um you know behind the firewall um local network um systems or or you know legacy architecture whether that be mainframes uh databases ftps um and all of that as well as a hybrid model um and the benefit there of that serverless architecture is that Um, our platform offers you the ability to handle your entire um, development life cycle um, of your integration space and, and business automation um, anywhere you have an internet connection uh, and access um, to to a web browser, essentially. Um, some of the things to speak about here for the Dell Boomi platform is it is a, you know a single unified 
uh, platform. It is the same code base with the same developers, um, and all accessible um, online. No need to kind of install, um, you know, heavy-duty clients or, or platforms um, on your own. Um, you can lean on Dell Boomi to provide, uh, you know, the standardized SLAs that you'd. Uh, um, expect as well as disaster recovery and, and all of the, the bells and whistles that, that kind of go along with implementing um, kind of a robust solution such as this. Uh, some of the features or, or pillars of our platform uh, involve um, the primary, which is uh, dubbed as Atomsphere. Um, that is our application uh, and data integration section. Um, this is primarily the piece that, uh, that Harry is referring to, being able to um, you know, integrate or, or create processes that will be able to grab data from certain locations, whether that be uh, in a scheduled fashion or uh, exposing um, web services so that um, it can be triggered on events from customers or internal business units to uh, kind of kick off a process flow. Um, with that, and, and something that rolls very well into that, uh, once again, that Harry mentioned, is, is a lot of EDI or, or B2B transactions that are occurring. Um, Bill Boomi has a long history of uh, EDI development. Um, so whether you're um, integrating with, with partners or customers um, in the retail space, um, you know, in banking uh, or healthcare, uh, dealing with uh, you know, a number of EDI formats, um, across the board, whether those be uh, HL7 or, or, or retail-oriented formats, Boomi has the capability uh, to provide you those options in a, in a very streamlined fashion. Moving towards the direction of the API management concept, um, with not only the ability to build and deploy and manage uh, your own web services, um, we also offer a, you know, a great feature that can bundle all of those services together into an API offering or API catalog um, to your customers or consumers. Uh, and the benefit of this is that um, you can have your developers in-house um, or you know, your, your solutions architects design um, and integrate all of the disparate systems uh, needed to accomplish a particular goal. And then API management can be used to present that data uh, generating uh, dynamically a lot of, of pieces of this um, to the customer uh, in a very obfuscated way. So they see um, the objective, they see what they want to get out of this, uh, and they don't need to kind of see all the inner workings that are, occur from an integration perspective uh, behind the scenes. And then once again, kind of moving with the maturity of, of an architecture design um, that, that's connecting your entire business across the board, uh, we come into the situation of, of data quality or, or master data management. And in a situation where you're providing such, such rapid interconnectivity across a diverse uh, hybrid IT landscape, you encounter scenarios where certain applications or systems that you maintain have overlap in data. Um, so they're dealing with the same information. Um, and this can become a problem down the road in terms of duplicates uh, being represented across the board. Um, having missing pieces of, of that data, so per, perhaps maybe a, a picture of a customer uh, or company is, is inaccurate as there just isn't that data there, or even worse perhaps is, is faulty or inaccurate data. Uh, so master data management, once again, kind of in tandem with the other pillars I spoke with, um, help to streamline um, not only connecting um, you know, as a hub and spoke model all of your systems, but then also um, helping to ensure that uh, that, that data that you're communicating in these integrations is of a quality and actionable um, format and, and, um, and provides you the ability to, to trust what you have um, across your IT landscape uh, and transmit that data as it happens in real time. Uh, the last piece to speak of is because we do offer this, this cloud-based platform, um, it is a single instance multi-tenant platform. Um, and with that, some of the benefits uh, that we get here is that um, you have the ability to leverage um, all of our customers and partners on the platform um, in a number of different AI technology and wizard-driven ways. Um, the most immediately beneficial one is from the concept of being able to convert data formats from one system or application to another uh, can tend to be an arduous process. Um, but with Boomi, uh, it allows you to leverage the 
hundreds of thousands, which I believe the number is probably over the millions now, um, of integrations between systems that our customers have built um, and check to see, you know, how is this community or how is, you know, this particular partner integrating this data? And we can lean uh, on those creations to help automate the majority, if not all, of the mappings or, or data conversions from one format to another. Once again, helping to streamline and get you in the door to getting these solutions built out um, for a competitive price and even more competitive time frame. So all of that technology is great, but the, the focus would be what are you going to do with it? Um, how is it actionable? So the benefit here is, is kind of anything that you can imagine, right? It's exposing API gateways to, you know, give insight into your business from, from an outside perspective or perhaps across disparate business units depending on the size of your enterprise. Um, handling EDI transactions as well as kind of going down the analytics route that, that Harry mentioned. So you'll not only have the ability to enrich your data, uh, connect your disparate IT landscape across the board, um, but then also have actionable information so that you can leverage in a third-party analytics tool, for example. Um, you know, upper management is always you know, very interested in having actionable data to be able to tell, hey, you know, how can we increase productivity in a particular vertical? Um, having quality data in real time you know, gives actionable data that you can leverage and work with in order to make those kind of on-the-fly decisions and, and point yourself and your business in the right direction. Um, the last piece that I did want to speak to on this is um, I've mentioned you know, this unified platform. It's in the cloud. Um, it's serverless architecture. Um, with that, um, we also have the benefit of, of pushing updates on a monthly basis. Um, so when you have Boomi, you have the newest version of Boomi at all times. Um, there's no work on your end. It's constantly updated. So the concept of you know, having a month-long, year-long integration strategy, um, implementing and owning the hardware and, and software, um, by the time you get done with that, there's a new version out, and it would take another couple of months to update. Um, Boomi streamlines all of this for you. Um, takes it out of your hands and, and gives you access to the newest features, security protocols, and um, communication protocols there are you know, as they're developed. Uh, the last piece that I wanted to touch on before uh, passing back to Harry is um, Boomi's partner-centric focus. So you know, as being an integration platform provider, um, you know, we're, we're great as, as middleware. We're great at handling data. We're great at passing it to and from locations, managing it, um, and giving you a platform that takes you from the early stages of development um, you know, through testing and then all the way to, to monitoring and, and aggregating of that data. Um, but we really wouldn't be, we wouldn't be much without you know, great partners and, and the ability to work with you know, these best of breed applications and, and enterprise solutions. So, um, you know, what you see on screen here is just a, you know, a very brief, small picture into um, you know, some of Del Boomi's partners. And what we like to provide here, and, and another accelerator to get you working with a connected business, um, is our partnerships with companies like Salesforce and NetSuite for best of breed applications in the CRM and, and um, ERP world. Um, we also you know, have great relationships with um, enterprise uh, solutions providers such as Microsoft, SAP, and Oracle. And with those partnerships and relationships, we work to maintain uh, what we call branded connectors uh, within our integration or Atomsphere platform um, that help to accelerate um, connectivity to these systems, you know, whether they're communication protocols or from a legacy perspective through a database or if you know, they're, they're kind of moving towards the trend of microservices through REST JSON. Um, we give you the ability to connect these devices in a low-code or no-code fashion. Um, and also, the burden, once again, um, lies on Boomi um, and not the customer to make sure that we're staying up to date with the newest API offerings and the newest connectivity to help streamline that for you and, and just take another piece of the puzzle kind of out of, out of your hands and helping to streamline the whole process. Um, but with that, I think it helps to speak to how Boomi um, offers a platform and, and the utility and functionality to 
uh, give you those integration capabilities. Um, that being said, I'll turn it back to Harry to speak to uh, how an, a great architectural plan um, with Boomi at the core can be leveraged um, for your business. And back to you, Harry. Thank you, Andre, uh, Andrew. So um, now, you know, uh, Andrew has presented yeah, uh, you know, yeah, a brief, uh, you know, uh, introduction on the uh, Boomi platform and the products that they available, and you know, the technology that they are providing to uh, to accelerate the, uh, you know, integration solutions, you know, to to build the connected business model. Now. We have the platform like Boomi, which provides application integration capability, API management capability, the partner integration kind of a capabilities, um, and uh, and the workflows, right? The workflows to uh, to bundle together along with the data management aspect of that from the MDM solution, as as Andrew talking about. So all technology, uh, you know, needs that we need, we require, our technology, uh, you know, platform that we require to build the connected model is already available as part of the uh, Boomi platform. Now, the challenge as we talked in the initially is, you know, how do we use the Boomi platform and how do we architect this solution of connected business model to automate the end-to-end -end business workflows, uh, to drive the business, uh, seamless business operations and the efficiency to deliver the consumer behavior. How do we architect this? That's the, that's the top challenge that we have seen uh, in, in the past in this session. Now, this is where, you know, Aspire comes into picture of, you know, how we help customers to build such connected business systems in partnership with Dell Boomi. Now, there's a fundamental architectural strategy that we wanted to follow up as, to, as we build a connected business model. Now, as we talked in the past, right, you now there is an uncontrolled uh, device growth happen in the world. Every uh, now and then, there is a new uh, device is coming to the market, and there is a huge number of consumers interested to you know, leverage those technologies and devices available in the market, right? So there is an uncontrolled device growth happening. At the same time, the controlled organizational process has to be established with the help of the Boomi, uh, you know, uh, Autumn to build a connected um, integration model. Now, what is that we should have as an organization to address the uh, you know, uncontrolled growth of need? We have to have an uh, architecture principle or architectural blueprint to address today's need as well as the tomorrow's demand. The growth of the uncontrolled devices are going to you know, trigger how the organization behaves to those kind of consumer events, right? So now, creating a common architecture prints, architecture model or the blueprint to address that is highly important for the uh, successful connected business model. Now, that should be a fundamental principle to create such architectural model, right? So we have listed down a 10 print fundamental principles uh, to address the, uh, you know, uh, such or to drive such architectural model. Number one, the unified integration patterns. Because the devices are coming in a desperate, uh, you know, different needs and different, uh, you know, different, uh, uh, different architectural model or different technologies, the communication happens with, uh, or the collaboration happens, or the integration happens with those devices is uncontrolled. Now, we don't have, we cannot follow a one integration pattern that helps to solve that problem because there is uncontrolled growth of devices that has to be connected with the organization. The uncontrolled devices being used by the consumer has to be connected with the organization. Now, we cannot follow one pattern, so we have to have a, a best of breed patterns of integration patterns to, to address these challenges. Now, creating such patterns and building a, uh, and a collaborating those patterns within the patterns is highly important. That's what we called as a unified integration patterns, as the patterns, different patterns are combined together to react to this growing demand of the devices. The second portion is the standardization. Now we know that there is an uncontrolled device, uncontrolled way where the consumers are going to trigger the events. Capturing the consumer's behavior on different devices is a challenging one. But once we capture, we have a mechanism to capture like APIs or you know, messaging protocols, we capture those devices uh, or data. Now what do we do with the data? 
the second challenge before we bring the data to the organization is how do we how do we identify the unique information out of the data now until unless we standardize the data sets we standardize the data sets and bringing a standardization into the messaging that we are bringing within the organization it becomes very uh, you know chaotic to uh, balance the data or and managing the data within organization so we have to have a standard mechanism of a process defined and message has to be fed in a standard mechanism uh, to the internal organization regardless of the source of the data now industry standard messaging is highly important to define a uh, you know balanced act of you know filtering the data and streamlining the data and take the data to the organization and execute the processes based on the data that is coming out now while working on that you know we also need a architecture that is dynamic enough to handle different situations within the organization right so the changes uh, the army the the the, the um, systems might create a different kind of a messages the system the channel of information that coming from might be different there may be a different protocol to be used there may be a protocol used for the web solution there may be a different protocol to be used for the messaging solutions or the device solutions so now capturing that require a different kind of a channels bringing that into the process require different kind of a process model then handling those kind of a data or the information or the collaboration within organization require different kind of a component together so you know breaking down the overall architecture into the layer based component is highly important to identify the perfect components to bundle and build a solution that require now the layer architecture is very important not only that as we have seen like uber right so reacting to the data the data getting created on the consumer side or on the field should be you know identified processed and depending upon the data that coming from the all the devices and the market and consumer behavior the process has to react to that like a uber right so you have even when, when there is a demand the price goes up when there is a slackness that uh, you know the price goes down so depending upon the demand that giving created in the market that systems reacting to that so such data driven process has to be defined within organization to build a connected business model otherwise the process will be very standard and it will not adopt the growing demand of the market so the data driven process is very important to build such system while well, process is being created the process needs some references to be covered up right the master data the master data or meta and metadata are very important to for reference purpose to react for the processes building a common services are highly important for agile mode of delivering the uh, to the business demands the market is changing day by day the consumer behavior is changing day by day the devices are changing day by day the system and process are well defined but until unless we have a reusable services we cannot accommodate those market changing things so now we should have a common reusable services and those services being applied on changing demands to reuse that to uh, deliver the solution faster to the business with the help of bumi we have a connectors as andrew talked about uh, legacy uh, you know either legacy systems or the modern cloud systems bumi provides uh, connectors and autumn to uh, you know enable those legacy applications to connect with the um connected in the in the process in the organization process so connectors playing a major role identifying the data that flows through this this complex connected business model and system collaborations and identifying the data and auditing those data are all you know highly important so auditing mechanism is again you know very important piece of that in the architecture fully automated intelligent systems to react to the faults anything can happen in the process the system might go down system might be up and running the disaster recovery process should be in place if there is any fault there should be a reaction to that so intelligence has to be built on the exception and the processing and information has to be spreaded within the organizations to control the challenges happens in the system side the last one is the templates highly important to have a well defined template as we execute this project 
connected business is a transformation initiative changing from organization of silo operations to the very well connected where the consumer is directly involving in the business operations it's not there is no lag time there is no uh, time for business to take it and think through and then react it's all happen on the flow when you you have such things then it should be very well defined and executed the process of transforming from the silo organization to the uh, connected business organization requires a step by step process the process and templates are very important to streamline the uh, the execution of this whole transformation initiative now we know all these principles now we apply all these principles to come up with the architectural model and that blueprint is what we called as a aspire unified reference architecture the architecture the architecture or the blueprint that we put together based on these 10 principles to address the uh, you know connected business model uh, that also accelerate the uh, you know uh, the streamlining process of delivery now we have taken a boomi platform as the boomi platform is a perfect fit for building a connected business model we have taken the boomi platform and we created a reusable services as we have seen one of the principle is reusable common services the reusable common services are the one who is going to drive this project faster accelerate this implementation faster so we have to have a reusable common principle uh, common processes we created those common process which is called auras gen it's a generic framework development framework built on top of boomi platform to accelerate the implementation cycle for the connected business or not even the connected business any boomi projects we drive with the help of orasgen we don't stand there we just scaled up next level or called the omni channel omni process which helps to build the omni channels as we have seen the consumers are interacting with the different channels we call that consumer channels as omni channels either it's a web solution or it's a device based uh, systems where the consumer is interacting we capture react to those stuff right so we created a pre built process and services called omni process and services we customize either gen or omni version of that for our customer implementation specific to the customer's business and processes as we have we talked about oras gen oras gen which comes with a pre defined common services and process as per the architectural principle we put together now all these process you know you are seeing that uh, there is a messaging me mechanism there is a standardization of messaging there is a way to capture and react to the events the event processing engine is there the rules based uh, reaction is there so the rules services are available and the ex you know execution of the fault right the intelligence on the fault which is time consuming process which also created as part of the uh, oras gen the whole platform has many different components pre built and available as a value added solution to our customer now what brings value by the oras gen oras gen comes with a services model model architecture as we put together the multiple layers reusable services pre built a data driven architecture has been pre built with a well defined data model and metadata information to drive the project faster and following the industry standard protocols on top of that it's built on top of boomi boomi provides all the platform capabilities required to build a connected business model to step into the first step of the building connected business model required a framework and we created the framework for our customers now moving into the oras omni it is highly intelligent system that we created on top of boomi now you uh, you know where you have the all the consumer systems in a consumer may be interacting with uh, online systems or iot devices or the social media anywhere the consumer interaction either we have to promote the data to the consumer or consume the data that consumer is looking for we capture the data back and forth and put together a process and the process delivers that back to the internal organization systems so we created a collaborative organizational business model and that business model available as a services those services are wrapped by the apis as a consumable by the consumer uh, systems the omni channel systems if there is a special need as we talked about the devices are growing demands right the devices are and there are a lot of devices are coming up day in day out and we how to i uh, you know 
scale up to address all those different devices and their communication protocols. Now, we have a specific service set of services especially to address the device related communications called omni-channel IoT services. But at the same time, we talked about the legacy systems like the legacy systems such as the store systems or any you know physical store systems that may be using a legacy applications to you know to interact with it. How do we bring them also into the connected business model? How do we how do we make sure that they are also in part of the the connected operational model or fully automated operational model? So we created a specialized engine uh, um, with the help of Autumn to deploy it at the consumer uh, you know uh, stores where the consumer is interacting and capture those legacy systems or enable those legacy systems to deliver the data to our business process at real time. So everything happens in real time. The system is happening, running in real time, services available in real time, delivery is happening in real time to the backend systems or the processes to be triggered and deliver that to the, uh, to the, uh, to that, um, to the uh, business people. Not only that, we also scale that up to connect to the partners helping to build the partners and collaborating with the partners either it's the shipping companies or it's a, you know it's a it's a supplier who's supposed to deliver a product we could able to track all of them or we created a process along with uh, the omni uh, platform to deliver that so we created all the predefined uh, process and uh, capabilities um, as part of our architectural solution um, to address the connected business need and everything built on top of a Boomi platform. There are plenty of value driven by the uh, or of Omni from the business future of building a Omni channel or Omni business model or building a connected business model. From there to technology driving features like providing auditing mechanism, you know, ex you know, excellent notification mechanism, and a unified architecture to address today's demand and reusable services. To the realization period of you know, how do we bring all together in agile model? Like you know, applying all these technology initiatives to the project and the transformation program to deliver that. How do we bring together a yeah, rapid implementation model with predefined templates? already defined it that the DevOps process is already defined that the orchestration on the world delivery of you know the information to the business people and uh, you know uh, to help them to realize the value is already defined it with pre-built set of connectors and processes especially to the need like you know eBay Amazon AWS and even the uh, traditional legacy systems all put together we created a yeah, process on on, on, on this the value proposition helps to accelerate the connected business model faster um, for the current need. With that, I would like to conclude um, uh, that you know the connected business model is the key. As we have seen the success of Uber, Amazon, and other you know and, uh, and other um, enterprises where they are all adapted moving into the connected business model. Building an end-to-end workflow is highly important. Building an end-to-end business operations is highly important. Enabling the consumer to directly interact with the business operations and business workflows and trigger based on the customer's behavior, triggering the business events or business processes is highly important. Not only that, as we talked about connected business, is not just about internal organization, it is also about the collaboration with the partner. Now from the consumer to the partner, all the events, all the processes has to be fully automated to seamlessly deliver the value to the consumers and drive the business towards success. And as, as, a, uh, as a Bumi helps to build that, and our ROS platform of solution helps to accelerate that implementation, we are here to help you out. Now, I wanted to you know, talk about uh, Boomi World. As we are you know, approaching the Boomi World, the Boomi uh, World Conference uh, by September 20 to 22nd, we are there to demonstrate the connected business model. We are not talking about theories. We wanted to demonstrate the live, uh, you know, connected business model there. So if you are interested, please feel free to reach us out and we help you to, uh, you know, um, get into the boomy world. 
and we will be demonstrating the connected business model with a live um, you know uh, session and also if you are if you are looking for beyond that you know not just a live session i wanted to explore myself i want to go on the play around with your uh, boomi platform i want to play around with the auras platform or a solution um, you can please feel to reach us out and we will give you a demo and we will give you a hands on experience on how this can be achieved with that i hope this process, uh, webinar has been helpful for you and uh, thank you so much for your valuable time and joining and watching us please uh, throw your questions if you have any questions you can throw now or you can uh, you know reach us out later over to you vina Thanks, Harry uh, and Andrew. Uh, let me move on to the Q&A section. But before that, uh, I'll quickly introduce you to Aspire Systems. We are a global technology services firm, and we work with some of the world's most innovative enterprises and independent software vendors. We help them leverage technology and outsourcing in specific areas of expertise, like software engineering. digital services testing and infrastructure and application support now let us take some of the questions uh, if there are any Well, as of now, we we haven't received any questions, but of course uh, you can always feel free to email us, or, or and we have Harry's and Andrew's email addresses. So uh, post us your questions, email them. We'll be happy to help you out. That brings us to the end of the webinar. We thank you all on behalf of Aspire Systems and Dell Bumi for joining us today. I hope to see you all uh, at Boomi World in San Francisco. Have a good day. Thank you. Thank you.